We'll continue this chapter of reproduction and development by visiting a farm in space. But instead of growing potatoes like in that movie about Martians with Matt Damon, we'll see how eggs are made in real time. So let's get cracking and talk about oogenesis. Oogenesis is the process where mature female gametes, or ova, are made from germ cells. Oogenesis occurs in the outermost layers of the ovaries and, unlike spermatogenesis, begins before birth. To show that, we'll draw this pregnant cow. In the developing fetus, primordial germ cells originate from the primitive streak and migrate through the hindgut before reaching the gonadal ridge, which becomes the gonads. In the absence of a Y chromosome, the gonads become fetal ovaries and the primordial germ cells undergo mitosis, producing immature diploid cells called oogonia. Oogonia then multiply via mitosis between weeks 9 to 22 of gestation. By week 24, the female ovaries will have up to 7 million oogonia. Unfortunately, most of these oogonia will, um, die. And the rest turn into primary oocytes. By the time of birth, there'll be about 2 million primary oocytes, depicted by these golden eggs. Dang, I wish I had 2 million golden eggs. <laughs> I'd be ecstatic. Anyways, the primary oocytes then enter meiosis, but get arrested during prophase 1. And so they'll remain arrested throughout childhood. Let these golden eggs locked inside a cage behind the cute, cuddly calf serve as a visual reminder. All right, so now we've reached that long, behold, awkward period in life, adolescence. After commencement of ovulation, the primary oocyte completes meiosis I, producing a haploid secondary oocyte and our first polar body. This silver egg represents the secondary oocyte. And the shriveled egg nearby? Well, that's our first polar body. But I sometimes switch out polar with dead because that's where this one ends up. Rest in peace, my friend. You lived a polarizing life. Oh, okay, not really. So these cells have just one set of chromosomes after completing one round of cell division. To put it another way, they're haploid, hence the single horizontal stripes. The secondary oocyte then enters meiosis II but gets arrested in metaphase two, again. This is depicted by the silver eggs locked inside a metal cage. Metal for metaphase two. They're prone to trouble, I know, but hear me out, because the last step is a favorite of mine. Fertilization, mm, mm, mm. I don't know about you, but fertilization, that is a beautiful thing, man. It's where it all comes together. Fertilization allows the secondary oocyte to finally complete meiosis II, producing a mature ovum and our second polar body. During fertilization, the haploid sperm pronucleus fuses with the haploid female pronucleus, forming a diploid zygote with two full sets of chromosomes. And that's my cue to exit. Okay, okay, no more yolks. Instead, check out this speedy summary. Oogenesis is the process where mature female gametes, or ova, are made from germ cells. Oogenesis starts before birth. First, primordial germ cells differentiate into oogonia, which proliferate via mitosis, producing more oogonia. Next, oogonia become primary oocytes. They enter meiosis but get arrested during prophase 1. They'll remain this way throughout childhood. Then, from puberty to menopause, the primary oocytes complete meiosis 1 producing a haploid secondary oocyte and our first polar body. The secondary oocyte gets arrested in metaphase II until fertilization, which allows the secondary oocyte to complete meiosis, producing a mature ovum and second polar body. The haploid ovum then fuses with the haploid sperm, creating a diploid zygote. 